did, question number 24, I think it was. There's two ways that we learned how to get rid of something. Now, we got to pick a side, left side or right side. You guys agree with me, they kind of look the same, don't they? I mean, there's one that's really not more obvious than the other. So let's just say I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to pick a side. I'm going to pick the right side. Well, if I'm going to pick the right side, one thing I know I can do is um, multiply, get rid of the fraction by multiplying by the ta tangent, the reciprocal. But there comes a problem with doing that mathematical operation. Not really a problem. There's nothing mathematically wrong with it. But guys, do I really want my denominator to be 1 to make it look like the left side? No, I want a numerator and denominator, right? To make one side look like the other, I, I want to keep that together. So um, I'm not really sure if that's going to be the best solution for me to be able to write it. Now, you could think about multiplying by the conjugate, which is another way. But I'm just going to say, you know what? I know that what would happen then if I multiply by the conjugate over here? So I'd multiply by 1 plus cosecant squared of theta. So when I multiply that, let's just leave this unmultiplied for a second and then multiply this. So therefore, I'd have 1 plus cosecant squared of theta times cotangent of theta, all divided by 1 plus cosecant squared of theta. I'm sorry, 1 minus cosecant squared of theta. Difference of two squares, you have a binomial times a binomial, x plus That's not supposed to be squared. I, I was thinking ahead, right? Yes. You want to multiply like that, right? Is that what you're saying? OK. Um, thinking ahead. So you multiply those. 1 minus cosecant squared times 1, pl 1 plus cosecant squared equals that. Now, what does this equal? Again, you will be given your Pythagorean identities. So you don't need to have these memorized. But let's just go through it again. 1 plus cotangent squared of theta equals cosecant squared of theta. Can I rewrite? 1 minus cosecant squared of theta, right there from there? Yeah, what is it equal to? Negative cotangent. So now, that's not good. Thank you. So now, cotangent squared. So now, you guys can see that it's 1 plus cosecant of theta times cotangent theta divided by negative cotangent squared. Well, can I simplify these cotangents? Of course I can. So now, I'm left with a negative 1 plus cosecant of theta divided by cotangent theta exactly what I have over, oh, I did do that. No. Oh, did I write that down wrong? Oh, I did write that down wrong. Crap. Shoot. That, well, yeah, I wrote that down wrong. That was supposed to be a positive. Oops, my bad. There you go. So that's your answer. Which you guys can now see is verified. 